We're in the middle of the draft process right now. Mm -hmm. And I think all anybody remembers about your draft is whenever you moved from the Chargers to the Giants. If I don't remember, I must have been too young. Going in, were you the solidified number one guy going into that? And did, did you take trips to teams? Or how did that kind of process all work out? Because I think all any of us remember is draft night as opposed to the entire lead up beforehand. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was kind of being told I would be the be the first pick in the draft, and and uh, you know, kind of after my senior year, through through the combine, through everything, and so uh, did did workouts, um, you know, for for San Diego. Um, they came to New Orleans, where I did my you know did my a private workout for them. Uh, went out to Oakland uh, for for a trip out there, and then you know met with met with the Giants as well. And so those are kind of the the three main teams, Arizona was the third, the third pick in there. So those kind of the first four teams were kind of the ones that were, um, you know, that I had discussions with and taught with. And then, yeah, I got drafted to San Diego and about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes later traded. I was still at, you know, at Madison Square Garden where the draft was still there kind of doing interviews and, and during that time got traded to the Giants. How quickly did that come together? You think that whole trade thing, there was a draft night that came together, you think? Yeah, within 30, um, yeah, I mean, it happened within within 30 minutes, you know, of, of everything going on. So I guess they had, I don't know why it couldn't happen before that. It would have been a lot easier on me if it, like, kind of happened <laughs> yeah. before. I didn't have to go, like, through the process of answering questions about San Diego and then coming to New York. It would have made my life a little bit easier. But, um, uh, yeah, I guess they just, you know, basically uh, the Chargers drafted me and the Giants drafted Phillip Rivers with a fourth pick in the draft, and then we switch, and there's a few other uh, draft picks involved. That coming together just on draft night is crazy to think about because it's obviously been remembered forever. Ty talked about this earlier whenever we mentioned you were coming on the show. It's like not only are you – Archie's son and Peyton's little brother coming into the NFL, and Peyton obviously has done his thing. Archie already a legend. But now on draft night, you're the number one overall pick, and you're going to the biggest media market after a trade takes place. Like, the, you just couldn't – you had to block – like, how did you – that had to be some heavy shit, right? A lot of pressure, I'd assume, Eli, on, on the old yeah. youngest Manning? <laughs> no, there definitely was, and and uh, but you know I was excited about coming to New York, and and you know had when I had meetings with the Giants, just uh, just appreciate the way, you know they 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 went about their things. You know, there's no cheerleaders, there's no there's no hoopla. It's all about football. They want to create a great football team. They're totally committed. They have a great history. That NFC East been around a long time. Uh, which is, you know, such great uh, rivalries between those teams. And so I was excited for that opportunity. I, I think the fact that I had kind of always, you know, been dealing with pressure my whole life, being, you know, who I was, you know, five years younger than Peyton. I mean, you know, this kid, Peyton was Gatorade Player of the Year, number one recruit in, in high school, you know, high, up for Heisman trophies, number one pick in the NFL. I was always that little brother, always people kind of looking up to me. So the fact that going to New York or being in that, uh, you know, and that spotlight didn't bother me. I just wanted, I wanted, was excited about going to an organization that I knew was totally committed to football and doing whatever possible to try to win some championships. Peyton never acknowledged all that stuff? You know, like whenever it was all happening, I assume he acknowledged that your world was probably pretty fucking difficult or did you guys not even address it? <laughs> <laughs> he did, no, he, he was there. He was there with me in, in New York for the draft and he, he was doing some stuff. So, you know, I, I saw him beforehand. We had a big dinner the night after and, uh, and he's, you know, he just said, hey, whatever, whatever you need help with going forward, you know, we're going to be in the same profession. I'm here for you. I'm here for, for any guidance. He said, although with that New York media, you're kind of on your own. I, I don't really have any advice on how to handle that. I've never been around it. Uh, so, you know, good luck there. Let me know. Uh, if you can help me down the road and uh, deal with that media, maybe. You know what I enjoy? I enjoy the fact that they talk about like sibling rivalry, right? Yeah. They talk about sibling rivalry. It's whenever kids are kids. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a real deal. You two, still, it is a real deal. I know like people try to play it up for TV. Yeah. You know, they're like, Eli and Peyton, still competitive. Hey, on that golf course, it felt like there was some real, <laughs> oh, yeah. it, 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 it's real, isn't it? It is, it's a real deal thing. Oh, you're on that text chain. I'm not allowed to talk about my, my birdie putt on 18 to beat them that day because that was in March. It's been a month. You're not allowed to talk birdie putts, birdie putts in a new month. So Peyton made that very clear in that text chain last night. So uh, I don't know if that's a real rule. I've never heard of that rule before. I think he's just 
he's tired of hearing hearing uh, hearing me talk about it. But that's uh, anyway. You know, I can't I can't mention it on this show. My birdie on eighteen oh. beat Peyton after wow. being down four <laughs> on the comeback to win one up on eighteen. I can't talk about that on on the show, Pat. How long was that putt that we wouldn't be able to talk about? I heard it was a long yeah, was, one. I, I don't know. It's like 15, 16 feet. You know, kind of a little <laughs> downhill slider. Um, yeah, but I can't, you know, I can't mention it. Yeah, how so. about the, I mean, the dry, oh, I mean, the way you, I mean, that whole hole I heard. Now, we can't talk about it. It's gone. It's past. It's a history. It's gone. It's been a month. It's a different, we're in April now. That was in March. Can't talk about it. 18th hole, too, just like two, I mean, to win it, need it, too. Yeah, to and then the goat it. slayer shows up. 30-footer. Oh, my God. What a dog, dude. So we can't yeah. talk about my double on that hole either. A month, <laughs> uh, <laughs> month ago. You can, talk doubles. you can talk about doubles. No, no, that's last month. Yeah. That's last month. Uh, we got a guy named Bruce Brown who's a diehard Giants fan. He is obviously pushing the Goat Slayer nickname in this particular office heavily. Thinks you've earned it, which we all agree with. But you made his life a lot better. He has a question for Eli. Yeah, thank you for everything, first of all. That uh, a baby, Eli. Yeah, you going, thank yeah. you, Eli. Um, second, I, I don't think that the Giants have really had a weapon quite like Darren Waller since Plaxico. Um, are you, what are you excited for Darren Waller bringing to the Giants offense next year? And is there any chance that Chad Powers might get out there during Hell training yeah. camp and show Danny how to throw that fade? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think Chad's, Chad's not making a comeback. He's, uh, he, you know, I'm, I'm done, done throwing as Chad. Uh, I'm put him, put him in retirement, but. Oh, rest uh, in peace, Chad. On. Hey, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah. Chad really. Yeah, it was Chad. so hot. It was so hot and all that stuff. I had so much face sweat going on. It was very uncomfortable, but. Um, rest in peace, Chad Powers. Yeah, I, I, I like I like Waller. I think he's a he's a yeah unbelievable athlete, and I think just that that, that tight end position, especially they already had a bunch of success last year with using tight ends, um, and so I think you know getting him matched up one on one, kind of on some mismatches on safeties on linebackers, uh, you know that's that's what you want, and so I think it should be a great addition, kind of Saquon tight end. You know, uh, get a good get a good receiver, and also now all of a sudden they've done some work with the offensive line the last few years. Also, you get weapons at every position. That's kind of what you want. And hey, are so the Giants back? Sort of are the Giants squad. back, Eli? Are the Giants back? I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the bandwagon. You know, I, I always hope I always hope I want them to be. I think it's uh, you know, I feel like that NFC East is just always you know each year it's like a new team. Hey, who's gonna be the best team this year? So. It's always back and forth. No one's out of it uh, for too long. And so, uh, you know, it's been fun. It's been fun to watch uh, watch them and, and the season, make the playoffs, win a playoff game. I think that helps so, helps so much with the with the confidence. And now you're starting to build something. And, and they're building something great with young players and, and a good nucleus of guys. So uh, I'm looking forward to another good year. Danny made himself so much money last year. Were you proud of him watching him at all kind of take place with that day ball offense? Honestly. I was. I was really I was I was so so happy for Daniel. I've got you know known him a long time, still talk with him, communicate him. I mean he's just he's done everything the right way. He's done everything they've ever asked him to do. Hey you got you you're gonna have to run it twelve times today. Sure. I'll I'll run it. I'll throw it. Uh, I gotta you know he knew he had to cut down on the fumbles and, and the turnovers, he's done that. He's worked at it. He's He's been conscious of it. He's a true professional. Um, he's a great leader. Guys respect him. And so I'm, I'm excited for him. And I, I think he'll just continue to grow. He hadn't been in the same offense, uh, you know, for, for multiple years. And now, you know, in the same offense, other guys in the same offense around him, you know, get things going. I think he'll just continue to get stronger and better. How about the Giants maybe being yeah, back? How about it? Here we go. Uh, Tomatoes are up for sale, so who knows what right. that's going to look uh -huh. like. Yeah. Eagles are good, though. Very, very good. Eagles, Eagles are good. good. Cowboys, Cowboys. Big Mike good. McCarthy's calling plays exactly. now. Yeah. Oh, Dayball, look out.